Hey there, Jacob from ONGC Systems. Welcome to this video where we demonstrate how to set up multi-factor authentication for your Office 365 account. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA as it's commonly called, is a method of securing your account by requiring a second form of authentication to log into your account. This can include a text message, a phone call, or a notification that you must verify on your mobile phone. The option we'll be setting up today is the last one, a notification on your phone. MFA requires an application called Microsoft Authenticator. This is the application that will send a notification to your Android phone or iPhone, which you must then select Approve on. This stops people being able to gain access to your account purely by knowing your password. Even if a hacker was to crack your password, they would now require physical access to your phone to verify their sign-in. Please keep in mind, only click Approve if you are the one trying to sign in. If you click Approve any time it comes up and you weren't trying to sign in, you may have unknowingly allowed someone access to your account. Let's get started. First, download the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone. Demonstrated here is the iPhone version using the App Store, but the Android version is much the same, only through the Google Play Store instead. Once downloaded, Click Allow to let the app send you notifications, and then OK on the Personal Information screen. Swipe through the first use information, and then click the Let's Get Started option. You should see a screen that looks like so, and it asks you to add your first account. We can leave this app open for now, and open Google Chrome or another internet browser on your PC. In the browser, head to login.microsoftonline.com and sign in with your company email and password. When you click sign in, you'll be presented with a screen that says more information required. If you don't see this screen, please contact your company administrator or ONGC systems. If you do see this screen, click next and it will bring you to a page titled additional security verification. In the first drop down under step one, select the mobile app option and then select the receive notifications for verification box below that. Press the Setup button and your screen will load and present you with a barcode. This is the barcode you will be scanning with your phone to verify the account in the Microsoft Authenticator app, so please make sure you have your phone ready. On your phone, open the Microsoft Authenticator app if you haven't got it up already. Select the plus button and then select the Work or School Account option. Once you do, you may be prompted to allow the app to access your camera. Please ensure that you click Allow otherwise this process becomes much harder. After you allow camera access, you'll be presented with a screen where you can scan the barcode on your computer. Line up the barcode in the square and hold the phone steady. It should automatically pick it up and add the account. Once you see the app display a six digit code and your company details, you're ready for the next step. On your computer, click the next button under the barcode. Once the application has been successfully verified, the next button in the bottom right will go blue. Once it does, click it and we will now be given a test prompt on our phone. Give it a second and once the prompt comes up on your phone, be sure to click approve. When this is all complete, the website will ask you for your mobile number as a recovery option in case you break your phone or lose access to the Authenticator app. This means that you can take your SIM card out and use your mobile number to verify instead. Please put your mobile number in here and click Next. You'll be presented with a bunch of random letters and numbers and this is called an app password. This is used for applications that don't support MFA and is used in place of your regular password for your company email. You shouldn't need this unless you're using specialty applications and if so, please contact your company administrator or ONGC systems. And that's it. Once you click finished, you'll be signed in as normal and you have successfully set up MFA.